Today we need to be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. And so that means we're going to investigate some slopes and we're going to be investigating um, the equations of those lines and vertical and horizontal. So we're going to start off with an equation like this. 2x minus 5y equals 15. And we're trying to find the equation of a line that's parallel and passing through 5, 7. Well, the line 2x minus 5y equals 15, the only thing I need from that is the slope. So this is a skill you should be pretty well practiced at, where you can get the y by itself and then get the slope. Now notice I moved the y, the 5y to the right, okay, where it became positive. If you had left it on the left, you would have had to divide by negative 5 in that second step. At the end of it, I have my slope, which is 2 fifths. I'm using the letter m for slope. Now the equation I'm looking for has to have a slope of 5, sorry, has to have a slope of 2 fifths, and it's got to pass through 5 comma 7. So three things need to be replaced. You have to replace the 7 in and the, sorry, the 5 in for x and the 7 in for y, and the m is going to be 2 fifths. So we replace all three of those in there like magic, and we have to calculate the value of b. And it's always the same. You multiply the slope times the x, so the 2 fifths times the 5, and bring that answer to the other side, and the b stays on the right. Now that I have the value of b, I can build my equation, y equals 2 fifths x plus 5. And this represents the line that is going to be parallel to that line. And if you compare these two lines, okay, in, in this format, you'll see, wait a second, they look exactly the same. Yes, the only thing different is their y-intercepts. So let's take a look at a picture of these two, okay. Here's my line um, 2x minus 5y equals 15. And then the line I was looking for, okay, passing through 5, 7, which is up here, 5, comma, 7. And so that's the line that's passing through that is parallel. As I said, the only thing that changes between these two equations is that y-intercept. If you're looking for the slope of a perpendicular, so remember what we said, the slope of a perpendicular is going to be the negative reciprocal, which basically means flip it over and change the sign. So if we take these five slopes, let's look at their perpendiculars. The slope two-thirds, okay, you would flip it and change it to the opposite sign, negative three-halves. The slope one-fifth, you flip that and you're going to get five over one with a negative, which we would simplify to negative five. Negative 2, we're going to rewrite as a fraction first so that we have something to flip. And then that's going to become negative 1 half. But we have another negative. We take the opposite. Normally, I wouldn't put two negatives in the question. I would just remove that negative sign. 2.4 is tough to do. It's best done in fractional format. So you write it as 12 fifths, and you can flip and oppositize that fraction. And negative 7 over 2, just like before, is going to be 2 over 7. And you don't actually have to put that second negative sign in there. You can just remove. And so you simplify it to 2 sevenths. Now the equation of a line that's perpendicular is going to be the same routine as we did for parallel, except that after we find the slope, okay, and let's go through that quickly. You guys should understand this, okay. After you find the slope, you need to find the perpendicular slope for the line that we're building. Okay, so this, the perpendicular of 2 over 3 is negative 3 over 2. And the line that we're building is going to be passing through the point negative 8, 3. And so we put those pieces into the y equals ax plus b or the y equals mx plus b format. Those three pieces. And just like before, you multiply the slope and the x and you bring it to the other side and you find the value of b. Now remember, sometimes this is a fraction. Okay, and then you build your answer. Now, here, when you compare the two equations, okay, the first one is not going to be the same slope. It's going to be opposite reciprocal slope. So let's take a look at a picture of this. Here's the line 2x minus 3y equals 10, okay, going through at the bottom. Now, I'm trying to find a perpendicular, perpendicular to this going through negative 8, comma 3. Now, visualize where that would be, okay, there's the 8, 3, and it's going to be a line going down something like that, okay. Well, let's try this a little more accurately. The line has a slope of negative 3 halves. It crosses through negative 9. Well, I don't really see that on the graph, but I can count down from negative 8, 3 and find a few points. And there's my equation, my line. 
So special cases you have to watch out for. If I ask you about a horizontal line, the slope is zero. So what's the perpendicular then of zero over one? It's going to be flipping one over zero to one over zero, and it's going to be opposite, which is undefined. Okay, which would be a vertical line, right? The perpendicular to a horizontal is going to be a vertical. So the reminders, you need the slope intercept form, you isolate y, you get the slope, and you get the y intercept to find the equation of a line. Vertical lines, the x intercept, okay, is the only thing that puts it together. A vertical line is undefined, and so it's y equals a number, sorry, x equals a number, and then the horizontal line is slope of zero, it goes through a y-intercept only, and it's y equals a number. Thanks, and have a great day.